Hi everyone, the Spider-Man here. I hope everybody's doing okay. So, as the title says, I'm going to be feeding my two Egyptian predatory beetles today, Anetha sex maculata. And as you know, I have a box of large black crickets. And I haven't fed them any large black crickets before. So this will be an interesting video. So let's take the first enclosure off the shelf. And let's give the beetle a feed. And there is my tub of black crickets. Now I've just had a quick look. And I have two left. Two large black crickets left there. So that's perfect. One each for my beetles. And there is a beetle there just walking around and uh, thinking what the hell is going on. So what I'll do is I'll take the lid off. Take the uh, cork bark out. And uh, let's get started. Here goes everyone. And cricket's probably about the same size as the actual beetle. Who's going to make the first move? <laughs> oh, the cricket's moving around. Zoom in a bit more for you guys. Let's just touch to give the cricket a touch. Here it goes. There we go. A large male for the uh, beetle. But um, shouldn't be a problem. The beetle's just trying to flip itself back over. There we go. There you go, guys. A little bit uh, closer footage for you, everyone. So as you can see, it's uh, taken down its prey and uh, it's in charge now. It looks like the beetle's going for the legs so it can't uh, escape, which is a fantastic Tactic, look, yeah, you can see that the beetle's eating the leg and it's starting to go for the face now. We then had a feed for a couple of weeks, so I had a little feeling they were going to be hungry. I can't wait to get a better camera, everybody. Uh, as I said before, should be uh, after the new year. I'll be getting my iPhone 7, which has uh, fantastic camera quality, better than this one. So I'm just trying to get the... best footage I can for you guys. Well, that didn't take long, everybody. So, while this one's eating its meal, let's feed the second beetle. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is the second beetle. And same before, I've taken all the cork bark out and the water dish out. So, let's get that cricket. Here goes, everybody. Now 
and it's uh, taken one of them legs off the cricket. The cricket's just there, look. So you can see the right hind leg has um, been taken off the cricket. Bit of a slow-mo slow -mo there for you guys. Not the best slow-mo. <clears throat> but it's gone straight for the leg. These are vicious little predators, these are. No messing about with these little guys. And because they're from Egypt, I'm pres presuming that uh, food is not available all the time in their wild environment. And uh, that's why they go for the legs, to stop the prey from running away. So it'll probably leave that leg now and search for the rest of the cricket. And it uses its uh, antennae to search for its food. Cricket's just down here. There we go, the chase is on. This one, this beetle's a little bit smaller than the other one, so I'm presuming this one could be the female. Well, I could be completely wrong. But this one just seems a little bit slender in its body. So it's got the cricket on its back, so it can't run off. And it just uh, pins it down with its mandibles and starts chewing. Is it going to go for the leg? Not yet. Looks like it's biting the wing. This one could be a male cricket. Males have wings and females don't. So it hasn't taken too long for the beetle to overpower its prey. I'm still after them African predatory beetles, but because Africa has closed their export, uh, you can't import anything out of the country at the moment. But uh, hopefully they'll open it back up soon, next year hopefully. And you've got to understand that uh, taking wild uh, stock out of their natural environment, you have to replace it. So probably waiting for the numbers to uh, grow a little bit more. So I'll leave that one to enjoy its meal. And uh, let's see how the first beetle's getting on. And there is the first one. Everybody, looks like the cricket's dead now, and the beetle's starting to eat its meal perfectly fine. It's probably just carrying it away to get away from the light. So yeah, that one's doing perfectly fine. So I think I'll leave that one alone now. I'll put the cork bark back in its enclosure, fill the water dish up. And put the enclosure back on the shelf. There we go, guys. I've put the cork bark back and filled the water dish up with some water. And as I said, I'll put this one back on the shelf and uh, let's see how the second one's getting on. And there is the second one. And that cricket's dead already. It hasn't taken too long. And it's uh, decided to start eating the actual abdomen of the cricket which won't take too long. And uh, I was going to do a time lapse, but uh, unfortunately I've got no light option. So if I did do a time lapse, it would be like this. <laughs> so you wouldn't be able to see nothing. So I have to get my uh, flashlight and just put it next to 
the beetle so you can see some footage a little bit gruesome but uh, my beetles have to eat I'm afraid and at the start of the video like I said I did say that um, there was only two crickets left so I will get some more because my tarantulas and scorpions and beetles they love large black crickets so same again everybody I'll put the cork bark back in this enclosure fill the water dish up and uh, put the enclosure back on the shelf so same again guys cork bark's back in filled the water dish up and there is the beetle there munching on its food so let's just put the lid back on and put the enclosure back on the shelf so both enclosures back on the uh, shelf next to the heat cable and it's walked away from its food and looks like it might have a drink very soon so i hope you enjoyed this feeding video everybody and uh thanks for watching everyone